Hey everybody, welcome. I'm Eduardo Talbert with MonsterTutorials.com. Uh, today's tutorial, we're making this right here. And all this is, is like a, a panning time-lapse thing. And the reason I'm doing this tutorial is because if you have seen my channel before, I have a scarecrow outside and I change its clothes every season for every holiday. So St. Patrick's, Valentine's or whatever. And uh, and it was always the same shot, so I wanted to make a little, a little variety to the shot. And I wanted to buy a time-lapse panning thing. But uh, on the internet, they were anywhere from like $30 to like $3,000, depending what kind. So I did some research on the internet and came up with a way to make the little contraption. And that's what we're going to do today. So uh, here's an example of the shot that I'm talking about, about Jack changing his uh, decoration from, I think it was Mardi Gras, to, to St. Patrick's. So this is what this will do for you. So if you noticed, what it does, it just moves the camera very slowly across a certain plane to add a little bit of interest to your shot. Uh, I was thinking of using this for the haunted house, also, for a few other things. So if you're doing any videos, any movies, horror movies, or you have a home hunt or a professional hunter and you want a more interesting shot maybe with your clients or your customers or trick-or-treaters coming in as the camera pans, you can use this little thing. So let's go to the studio and make this and then I'll show you what else you can do with this. Okay, for this tutorial, the main mechanism is a kitchen timer. So, any timer that rotates, right, that will work. Uh, this one I got from Ikea for about $5. But if you don't have an Ikea clothes, I have links where you can get one of these for anywhere between $3 and like $10. But this is the base of it. The other thing we're going to need is a little piece of wood. And we need a quarter inch by 20 by one inch screw. And what that means, it's a quarter inch thick. Uh, the 20 is the number of threads per inch. So that's 20 threads per inch. And uh, it's a one inch long screw. So I'm going to drill a hole in this, put the screw through it. I'm gonna countersink it so that this huge head goes into the wood. Another thing you're going to need is a, one of these nuts. It's a hex nut for the same size, which is quarter inch dash 20. There's the name right there. And this stuff is super cheap. If you're gonna find it, again, there's links on the list of materials. I'm gonna use this paddle bit right here to uh, countersink into this. I'm sure there's not the right way to do it, that there are some countersinking bits, but I don't have one. And what I did is I marked with a line how deep I need to go because I don't want the screw to go too deep into the block of wood. So I've countersank that hole with the paddle bit and now it fits flush. Check this out. See? So it sits perfectly on top of the timer. So we're going to glue it on the timer. Uh, you can use hot glue except that it peels off or you can use a more permanent glue like super glue. I'm going to use hot glue for this demonstration. Okay, I'm going to glue the nut to the bottom. There you go. Now we're going to let this dry. I'm going to mount it on the tripod and I'll show you how I use it. All right, for this to work perfectly, you need only a quarter inch sticking out, but I only had a one inch screw uh, and the piece of wood was a little thin, so I have more like a half inch sticking out. So what I'm going to do is use a piece of foam, which I'm gonna make a hole and slide it over. And what I want is just a quarter inch sticking out, 
so that the camera has a stable base to lay on and it's all wobbling on just that screw. I'm just using my hand and a drill bit to make the hole of the foam. There you go. Now just a little bit of hot glue, slide the piece of foam. There you go. So as I'm going to mount this here, this was a little loose, so I'm going to put a little piece of foam like we did on the top. There you go, that's solid. Now, that's mounted. The next thing we're going to do is just then screw the camera onto the, onto the timer. And there you go. Now I'm going to go shoot some footage with this. And what you have to do is just set the timer where you want it. And over time it'll turn. And if you turn on your uh, time-lapse feature on your camera, you'll get that panning time-lapse. So this is what it looks like. So as you noticed, it was super easy. Another thing that I used it for was for another shot because I am shooting a video that I'm going to show you next time where my normal studio is upstairs from here and that was a tiny little a spare bedroom. And down here there's the playroom where the kids play. Now as I studied the kids and the kids being kids, all they use from the room is the PlayStation right there and the controllers right there. The rest of the room goes pretty much underutilized. So, I conferred with my wife and we decided that we're going to switch things around. So the kids are going upstairs and I'm going to set up the studio in this large space. So I use this to take a shot of the before uh, state of the studio, the disaster that this playroom is. So that when we do that video where we upgrade the studio, uh, we can show you a before picture and an after picture. And this is the before that I'm going to be using on that video. So that's it, five to ten dollars, and you can have this contraption to take all those fancy shots, and you can get really creative with it. If you noticed on that panning shot, you saw my, you saw like I had three cats, and I only have one. And what happens is that the cat was in one shot, and when the camera moved, the cat went around and sat somewhere else, and then the camera caught him again and again. So you can get creative, and you know you can appear in your same video four or five times in different positions. So go get creative, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot of tutorials coming. So until then, I'm Eduardo Talbert with Monster Tutorials. I'll see you next time.